So today I was at the Dollar Tree and I found this big bottle of lotion just for $1.25 and I compared it to the smaller tubes they had which also were $1.25 and this was a better value for 16 ounces. So I picked that one up because I really need something at my desk. My hands get very dry. So I thought that was great and the thing is I went to open it and where it says open I went to turn it. Well I couldn't get it open unfortunately and you can't pump it down and you can't pull it up so I thought well what can I put this in that I would be able to use it in. Then I had remembered I bought this mason jar pump. I thought wow that's perfect I'll just dump this lotion into a mason jar and I can use this pump. And I happen to have a mason jar that I got for the kids a while ago for a piggy bank and I used to have their names on the little chalkboard label and I just poured it all in there. I thought well that's a pretty good idea considering I can't get that one open and then I thought wow I could make it better by putting some oils in. So I took out my oils and I thought maybe a blend or maybe just lavender or something fun like that. And then I remember to have my essential life which gives me some recipes on certain blends for eczema which is what I'm afflicted with. And I happen to have some of those oils on hand. I have a geranium and a lavender and Roman chamomile and I didn't have the other ones it called for but I figured I'll just put these ones in. I don't really have a recipe but I just figured I'd, I'd wing it like everything else I do around here. And I had a couple blends I thought about but I thought you know what these are just the best ones probably for my hands. So I decided I would just put those in. Now I keep these oils in this drawer and I have this cloth underneath because the boxes just fit in this drawer and it's like a smoke detector when you have the battery and you have a little tab to pull on it to pop the battery out. Well I just pull on that cloth and that pulls out the boxes. Otherwise I'd have to dump the whole thing out every time I went to use it. So I'm going to put one, two, three, I think I put ten drops of each of these in this container. And that was the geranium and then the lavender, or actually that's Roma chamomile and then the lavender. Now it called for a couple of other ones and I didn't realize I actually had one of them which was the helichrysum. I happened to find it when I was putting away the lavender so I'll put that one in as well. And I fixed it up with a straw and I pumped it out and here it is and it smells really good. I actually smell the geranium more than any of the other oils. Can you smell it? No, unfortunately YouTube hasn't advanced to that kind of power yet. So I just made a little ball of hand cream. But then I thought, hmm, how can I make it better? So I went and got some coconut oil and I just put it on the aga uh, just for maybe 20 minutes and it melted right up. So I thought, well, how about I pour that in, mix it up and see if I can make this hand cream even better not just better smelling. So here I'm going to try to pour it in with one hand. Always tricky when uh, using the camera with one hand and trying to do something with the other one. Don't mind the spoon rest. We happen to have dinner so it's a little dirty right now. I don't think I can fit all of that in. I think I got about half of that in there and I decided I'd try to use the straw from the pump to try to stir it around or maybe shake it up. It's, you can see how the oil floats on the top because of the, the hand cream is actually water-based. So I'm attempting to stir it in. Of course, the oil is just floating on the water. But this is the coconut oil I used. It's the Costco brand. I've had it for quite some time. It actually lasts a very long time. So I just maybe took, a, I guess it was about a cup, I just scooped out of that one. Of course, it's hard because it's cold here. So I poured it all in the bowl because it was almost impossible to try to stir in the mason jar even with the straw or the spoon. I emptied everything out. I um, just poured it all in and I figured I need this hand blender anyway to mix it well just because the oil will be separated from the water. 
this hand blender, I don't know who designed this thing, but it's almost impossible to use because you have to push down the top, that's the lock button, and then you have to hit the high or low to make it work. And it's just so challenging to get that thing to actually uh, cooperate. Whoops, I better get the cord out of the bowl there. Let me try again. I can see it's really cool how it, it sort of, com how it combines and how the white, it's almost like frothy foam comes up as it's mixing along there. So that's pretty cool. I'll just keep uh, keep mixing it until the oil is no longer visible floating around the edges. Isn't that cool? It's like a cloud or maybe crazy whipped cream or something like that. Yeah, it takes a little while, a few minutes to actually combine it well enough so that you don't see the oil floating on the edges anymore. Look at that. It's nice and creamy. It's still a little bit watery, but uh, but much more smooth because of the oil. And look at that. It's not dripping like it was before. It would have just dripped right out because it was so thin. And now it's just hanging on there, that big drip. Definitely improved this hand cream. It's so nice and frothy. This is definitely one way to improve a dollar store product. Take something that costs very little and make sure it's fragrance free and get out your essential oils and get the fragrance you want, mixing it in with the coconut oil. And see how clear, almost translucent it was before? Look at that, I can almost see through it. And then after, once I've mixed in the coconut oil, look at the mixer. See how white that is now? It is so much more rich and creamy. Not at all like it was when I first bought it. Now I have a great hand cream for my hands in the winter at my desk. I poured the rest of the product into the bottle so that I'll have that for when my big jug runs out. You can make a personalized label on this. I just used a grease marker and wrote hand cream on it. I hope you can try this too. It was a lot of fun to make and really easy. All you need is a good mixer. I hope you enjoyed this video.